The biggest surprise from Artemis 1, NASA says, was the heat shield on the spacecraft. When they finally got it back here to the Kennedy Space Center and took a hard look at it right after Christmas, they discovered that it was more charred than they had expected. Is this a problem? NASA doesn't know yet. When the Artemis 1 moon mission finally got off the ground last November, yes, it was breaking records going deeper into space and further past the moon than any other human-rated capsule in history. But more than anything, it was testing to make sure humans can safely ride around the moon in the Orion capsule for the Artemis 2 mission. This is the time for our vigilance to continue. Uh, we have heartbeats on this mission that uh, that we need to make sure that everything we're doing, un we understand the risks that we're taking, we understand the performance of, of this vehicle moving forward. NASA announced this afternoon during a teleconference with mission managers they're moving quickly understanding the risks of taking four astronauts deep into space, but there's still a ton of work to be done before Artemis II can launch. The next SLS rocket still has to be finished, the engines still have to be mounted. The avionics, just about the only flight hardware to be reused, have been removed and reinstalled in the next Orion capsule, but need to be tested. Life support and thermal control systems need to be added to protect the astronauts, and the mobile launch tower needs to be repaired after Artemis 1 burned some of the hoses and blasted apart the elevators. We, we did sustain a bit more damage than anticipated to the ML, but we are on track uh, making repairs so we'll be ready for Artemis 2. But as quickly as NASA is moving, mission managers are not moving up the Artemis 2 launch date. That still put us in that uh, late November of 24 timeline. The plan was always to launch Artemis 2 two years after Artemis 1, but NASA had hinted anyway that because things went so well on Artemis 1, they might be able to pull off that second launch just a little bit quicker. As you heard, though, the timeline two years from now stands. At the Kennedy Space Center, Eric Von Aiken getting results. News 6.